we finished univariate analysis i think we can go to bivariate analysis now we will take just one example of uh, nominal with nominal as i said chi-square test let's go to uh, chi-square test now okay and just i will um, open this file okay so you have to determine first the outcome as i explained before this is a, a simple data regarding occurrence of urethral structure or not i'm not Con uh, uh, concerned about the details of the SBSS, just we have the outcome the, here the occurrence of stricture or non or normal. So, stricture or not, so yes or no, nominal. Nominal, uh, this is a nominal variable outcome. This is a, the outcome which is the nominal variable occurrence of stricture versus normal ureter. Okay, and here is the our dependent variable. Just I will conduct a simple chi square test just to go to analyze. Descriptive, cross tabs, you know, cross tabs, and this is the, uh, the the interface. Both the the outcome on the column, both the outcome on the column, and as I said, you can conduct one by one, but just I'm going to conduct, you know, two. Okay, you can both all of those. You can both all of those in in the single row. Just for simplification, I just I will uh, put a surgical speciality and the type of procedure. Okay, that's it to our uh, uh, nominal variables and go to statistics and just uh, click chi-square continue and go to cells and uh, uh, click on the rules uh, the percentage on the rules and that's it and just click OK and now you can see now this is the outcome normal and stricture and here is the uh, the number to the number 48 so how we analyze how we analyze because I can say to you, uh, look immediately to the um, uh, p-value, which is 0.6, which if the p-value more than 0 0.05, 0.05, okay, it's statistically not significant. Why it's statistically not significant? You can see here the number of structure is 18. We here, we're looking for the percentage. Do not consider the number. 100%, 100%, 100%. And you can see 32% here from this op from open arm had stricture. 38 had stricture and 58 and 50% had stricture. So we do not consider those as statistical significance. The probability of occurrence of a stricture is quite equal. It's quite equal. Or there is, there is a difference, but it's not statistically significant between the three arms. For that reason, the p-value is 0.6. However, if we go to uh, the surgical speciality 100 100 100 you can see 17 percent of this arm had stricture 17 percent however 60 percent of this arm had stricture and the 50 percent from this arm ha had stricture so you can see the big, big difference and the in this example there was no big difference okay but in this example there is a big difference between 17 and 60. for that reason the b value came significant 0.09 this is the typical chi square test and we look to the uh, statistical significant okay this is a chi square returning to uh, the uh, the presentation we spoke about chi square let's go to the t test okay go to t test uh, when analyzing t test we the dependent variable sh should be should be or must be must be uh, a, a numeric should be numeric okay just now i'm going i'm interested to see if there is a difference between mean the difference between means between the two groups okay the independent variable is numeric which is age so i'm going to uh, go to analyze and then compare means independent sample t test in, in the, because we have two groups independent sample t test i'm going to give the to put the groups here okay groups okay and i'm how it should be identified one and two okay and then continue and then we you have to put the the continuous variable here which is age and then just click OK. OK, going now to a, this is independent sample test. You can see here the mean in the normal, uh, there is no stricture, normal group is 44. And the, the mean of age, mean age in the other group is 50, which is not, you know, there is a difference, but it's not statistically significant, which, and the, that can be transmitted as you see here. We look here, we look here, significance 0.1, which, you know, it's not statistically significant. Okay, this is the typical uh, t-test. However, however, I'm just now, I'm going to conduct another um, t-test, independent sample t-test. I'm going to keep the, uh, the variables. I'm just, I will change the age into the keratin, for example. 
ok, just click ok, ok, look here, the, the normal group, the mean, the mean creatinine, the mean of the creatinine in this group is 93, and the, the mean of the creatinine in another group is 133, there is a big difference, there is a big difference that which transmitted to the p-value which is 0 0.001 which is very strongly uh, significant this is you know independent sample test and I, I just I put or I gave to you two examples this one is not statistically significant and this one is statistically significant and the numeric data has to be normally distributed numeric data has to be normally distributed look to standard deviation and look look to the mean and standard deviation the mean here is 44 and the 13 so it is like less than one third that's okay okay and look here it is 93 and the standard deviation is 8 it's okay normally distributed there okay thanks for having me in and see you next time on multivariate analysis thank you